Hello everyone, welcome to Tector.com. In this lecture, we will study graph based protocols. So far, we have studied two phase locking protocol. Okay, and in two phase locking protocol, what do we have? We have two phases. Okay, so first one is locking phase or growing phase, we can say. So, in this phase, only locks are acquired. Okay, and after execution, we have shrinking phase or unlocking phase. In this phase, only unlocks are allowed. So, it means that during locking phase, during growing phase, we cannot release any lock. So, let us say here it is lock x, then again lock y and so on. Right? Similarly, here we release x, again we release y, unlock y. But in these between these two locks, we cannot release any lock. So, we cannot here do unlock, unlock of x. This is not allowed in two phase locking protocol and that is why basically we call it two phase because we have two phases of locking. One is in first phase only locks and in another phase only unlocks, right. Now, here we have a situation. You can see that this x this lock on x was acquired at this point okay i mean very beginning of the transaction right now this transaction has to acquire other locks and even if in between this transaction t has used this data item x okay had exist right still it cannot release this lock because it is against the rule right we cannot release any lock right now so this reduces our efficiency and as well as for other transaction it will cause more waiting time okay because let's say some transaction t2 require to access this x right but this x is locked by this transaction t1 and even this transaction t1 doesn't need x anymore still it has to keep this lock right because it can only release in unlocking phase or growing uh, shrinking phase fine. So, this is the problem with two phase locking which reduces the efficiency and increases the waiting time. Now, imagine a situation where we already know what is the order of access to a database item that is what is the order of access to various database item. So, if we already know that first A will be accessed then B then C and so on. Okay. So, if we have this order then we can come up with certain protocol which is not two phase locking and fit which can also guarantee serializability okay so that is basically graph based protocol okay so in graph based protocol the requirement is that we already need to know what is the order of access of the database items okay so we need to have prior knowledge of data access right now, following are the conditions of or basically protocol rules of graph based protocol. So, these are the following rules for graph based protocol. So, the first one is that we only use exclusive locks. Okay? So, there is no shared lock here, we only have exclusive locks. Fine. Now, it is saying that the first lock can be acquired on any data item. Okay? So, as we have just studied that we will have a partial order of access and that order can create a tree okay? and which we call basically database graph. So, let us draw a sample database graph. So, let us say I have item A. So, this is database graph okay? and here we have order of access that is first A has to be accessed then B then C D after b this e and after e this f okay it forms a tree so according to this rule second rule first lock can be acquired on any database item okay so even if there is a order we can acquire first lock on any database item okay now third rule is subsequent locks are allowed only if the parent is locked means let's say let's take an example here and what we want is we want to acquire lock on a and f 
so we want to do lock lock a and lock f now when i'm saying lock we have already studied that it's exclusive lock right so i'm not specifying it so we have to lock a and f so according to first uh, second rule first lock can be acquired on any database item fine so let's say i acquire first lock on this a okay so we acquire first lock here now to acquire lock on f we have to acquire lock on f right here we want to acquire lock but the rule is subsequent locks are allowed only if the parent is locked okay so as f's parent that is e is not locked we cannot acquire lock here right now again we go for b okay so we cannot lock this e as b is not locked okay so what we will do we will apply extra lock on b and then lock on e and then finally we can lock this item f okay so you can see that in order to acquire two locks we have to lock acquire some extra locks also fine now the third point fourth point is that we can unlock at any point okay so we can unlock a data item at any point it's simple to understand next one is each data item can be accessed at most once so this is access limitation for a transaction of course okay so for okay transaction one transaction can access a data item only at once okay so it means that once lock is released it cannot be accessed again okay it cannot be locked again so that's why our sixth point is relocking by same transaction is not allowed okay so this is graph based protocol now we have some advantages and dis disadvantages for this protocol so let's list it down so in graph based protocol as there is no growing phase so we know that um, in two phase locking where we had growing phase we used to get deadlock right here we don't have any growing phase so we this graph based protocol is deadlock free okay and also there is no case of rollback here because there is no blind read situation here okay so or not basically blind read there is no dirty read situation so no rollback in this in the case of graph based protocol and as there is of course increase in efficiency because unnecessary locks are less so we can say that overall if waiting time is reduced fine but it also has disadvantages that the system have to have some prior knowledge of data access that is what is the order in which data is going to be accessed okay so this is an overhead system needs to determine that in which order data is going to be accessed right and as you have seen that in this case also it's not that we have we don't have unnecessary locks okay so even if we don't we do not require to access this database item b and e but we had to put a lock here because we cannot acquire lock if the parent is not locked okay so we also have unnecessary locks in this case so this is disadvantage of graph based protocol in next lecture we will take an example to understand how graph based protocol works so see you in the next lecture thanks for watching